What's going on, guys? I'm sitting here with none other than Patrick, Patrick Hoban. <laughs> so, what did you do this weekend? I made top 32 at the YCS in Brazil. And how are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Uh, yeah. You know, wish I went further, but it was good. Uh, everyone loves another top to their credentials, so uh, we're going to get into the deck. Cool. I played Tier and Sprite in the same deck. So I played two Reinhardt, um, three Havnus, three Murley, and three Shaylin. Um, there's a bunch of different engines in this deck, but uh, the tiers really work well when you have multiple. So like they're at a higher count than all the other engines and the tiers turn into the other engines too. They were good. Then it's more of a tier deck than anything else, though, for sure. Snow. Uh, I was on the edge of whether or not I wanted to play this card. I think it was okay. Um, it's kind of bricky, but uh, I wasn't playing Curious because I wasn't playing Danger, so it's like harder to summon. Milling it just seems too good, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's good, and you do mill more cards than you draw, but it's still just like when you do draw it, it, it can be a brick. So I was like on the edge of playing it. It was okay. Um, then for the sprites, I played one blue, one jet, and one red. Uh, I tried playing more, uh, and that was cool too, but um, I don't know. They just give you a lot of versatility. It lets you basically play more teleports than other decks too, uh, and I liked them. They were, they were solid. Plague. Uh, Plague was really good because off of uh so i also played punk cards and so like off of a teleport you can go into the chaos ruler and then get back the deer note make halk into plague summon back the chaos ruler uh go into baron and then uh bring back the plague with uh halk and then make gigantic and then go into uh the double toad so um it basically turns the the punks into like three omni negates uh, with the punks, I played two Zayaman. Um, with the Zayaman, I was really trying to con play like one teleport target, and I was thinking about playing a Ghost Ogre. Um, but I played the Ghost Ogre last weekend at a regional, and it was just like not very good. So I just decided that I go with the second Zayaman instead. Um, but I did want to only play one of those. Uh, Foxy Tune and Deer Note. Deer Note is definitely the brickiest card in the deck. <laughs> you pretty much never want to draw it. I played three Swamp Frogs and Ronin Toten. And then I played three of the Field Spell, three Teleport. Six Teleport. <laughs> <laughs> Six Teleport. <laughs> uh, I also played Smashers. So one thing about Smashers is that like, um, if you have the starter in your hand, you're gonna mill with all of your tier effects before you play it. So uh, you really just don't wanna hit both this and red so that when you do your uh, starter play, you can have like either get this or, um, you know, starter for red. It's another interruption. Okay. Yeah, it's basically another interruption. So like if you mill one, then the other one's still in your deck, it's fine. If you mill both, it kind of sucks though. Um, call by Instant Fusion, Terraforming, and Foolish. Uh, Foolish, I have been on the edge of cutting for a minute, and I just keep ended up playing it. It's, you know, the best case scenario is you dump a Reinhardt, but in most scenarios, I think it's kind of subpar. Like, it's just not, it doesn't do enough, I think, but... It's like dumb snow. But we already want to cut snow. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. It's, it's it's not a great starter unless you're able to dump Reinhardt, which you just can't always do. Um, then I played four going second cards. I played three Super Poly, three Tactics, and two Dark Ruler. Um, so here, I just wanted, you know, the versatility of, like, some that were good going first, some that were good going second, and... I wanted, I figured Tactics and Super Poly could play those roles, whereas like Dark Ruler is like only good going second for the most part. Um, tactics was okay. I think it was a little below average, um, but they were fine. 
Yeah. It's also fine because if you only draw one of these, like you're in a really good position going second. Not a lot of people games. were playing hand traps. Yeah, not a lot of people were playing hand traps, but um, and so that makes this card like really bad against like tier going first. Uh, if you're going first against them, because they don't really play hand traps other than you know randomly playing Habness. Uh, but it's pretty good against them going second. And then I played two Solik. Um, I don't think Meta Noise is very good, just because this is like the card that if you know if you mill it, it searches, whereas the other one, it doesn't really do anything if you mill it very much. And that is the main deck. It was forty-eight cards. <laughs> um, and it was probably weird to hear from me, but I actually think and I've thought for a long time that the long-term direction of the game is that every deck will play sixty. Uh, mostly because that, you know, every set they release like slightly better and better cards and if that just keeps going for long enough then at some point you stop having to sacrifice the consistency to gain the additional power. Um, so you might as well take the additional power. And I think, you know, at any point and for the vast majority of the game we were probably well below that where, you know, the ideal deck count was, you know, probably like... 30 to 35 cards and you know you just play the minimum but as the cards keep getting better I think it incrementally goes up uh and so I don't think we're all the way there to where every deck will play 60 but I do think that it, you know five years from now I'd be kind of surprised if every deck didn't eventually play. there's just gonna be enough engines right exactly where you just don't have to sacrifice the consistency anymore um and so yeah not all the way to 60 but I think you know, it is somewhere along the way, and it ended up being 48 cards. Then for the extra deck, I played a Kaleido Heart, Kekalos, um, Draco's Topelia, Garuda, and Mud Dragon for the fusions. Uh, these are all really good. You know, the probably the best thing about the tiers is that they just keep recycling these, so you don't really need more than this, I think. Um, you know, the Mud Dragon doesn't do a ton, it's just kind of like a bridge. Garuda, you know, it's a super poly target, but you also just randomly make it, um, like, when you're comboing, and then you know, turn it into level 2 into help or something and be able to draw. Um, then for the Lynx, I played 2 Elf, Halk, uh, Dark Charmer, and Water Charmer. These were really good, except for the Water Charmer, which didn't come up very much. Um, I, I think it's possible to cut it, for sure. Then, for the Synchros, I just played Baron and Chaos Ruler. Uh, the Chaos Ruler is really good. Baron, I went back and forth in cutting, uh, if I wanted to cut Baron or not, because, like, the only times you can summon it, you're basically already winning the game. Um, but I think in this format, you can often trade your battle phase for, like, two interruptions that they have. And so when that happens, you just want to be able to, like, still clear cards in main phase two. So I ended up keeping it. Then for the Exceeds, I played one Toad, one Gigantic, and one Time Thief. Um, that was the extra deck. And then for the Sign deck played two sphere mode basically just more common piece of dark ruler when you go second uh red resonator three enemy controllers um this card wasn't as good as i wanted it to be uh, i thought it would be better than it was but it was okay i played the third dark ruler um i played two twin twisters Three Cosmics, uh, Harpies, a red reboot, red reboot, and I sided the Dweller. And that was all of them. All right, so is there anything else you want to say about your weekend? Sorry um, about my voice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Chris loves his voice. Uh, yeah, no, it's been a really fun weekend. Um, shout out to everybody. Shout out to RMC. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to going to Canada. And glad to see you topping again, Pat. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. See you next time, guys. See ya.